Hello everybody and welcome to Axis and Allies. This is not the 2004 version, which I've done a lot of videos on. This is the 1998 version of the actual original game, pretty much. Like, it's literally the same exact thing. But yeah, I, uh, spent, uh, how many hours did I spend today? I spent five and a half hours today trying to beat the sixth, the sixth mission for the Allied campaign on hard for the 2004 version, so... Might as well try this. And, uh, I'm just gonna, I guess, do a... I guess a hot seat campaign? With myself against the Axis. Oh boy, my computer just... Oh, wow. That's funny that my computer starts sounding like it's about to take off in a 1998 game, but whatever. But yeah, we're gonna be playing all this. Uh, oh yeah, set the rules. Yeah, quick. Make all this shit quick. I don't want to wait. I've uh, done, done enough uh, nonsense today. In terms of Axis and Ally stuff. Uh... I don't know. The ending usually takes a while, but whatever. Yep, here we go. So yeah. I've done this a lot, so I kind of know what's up. I gotta be careful not to click off the screen though, because about halfway up... Oh yeah, the entire way up here is about halfway down my screen on the other monitor. But anyway. So, USSR. Uh, what you do for them is you just literally spam infantry. That is it. Oh, I can't even use arrow keys to move, so yeah, I really gotta be careful not to click off, because otherwise the game's gonna crash. Alright, so... The usual strategy, what I do, is just... throw everything up in Finland. Norway, Finland, I think that's what the region's called. Oh, why? Hold on. Yeah, text on map. Yeah, Finland, Norway. Throw all my heavy equipment and some infantry up here. And I usually like to send my ships into the North Sea to help the British against the Germans, but I think it's better to just... No, I'll, no, I'll, yeah, I'll do what I usually do. Because if I... If I brought both of those into the Baltic... Then I think I should bring a plane, but then I wouldn't be able to bring one to Finland, Norway. Which, this battle is usually pretty close, but almost every time I win. And it's uh, two free IPCs. So yeah, that's about it for that turn. Wow, the combat move. Oh, yeah. yeah okay, we crushed it. Yeah, that was, that was way better than usual. Usually I lose, like, all the infantry. Sometimes I lose everything but one tank, which is... Pretty close. Yeah, that's that's all for combat, non-combat. Move everything back to Corellia that we can. And for the Far East. Japan Japan I don't know, one time I saw them put a factory down in Indochina, which was a little out of the ordinary. But the, the Soviet Far East usually falls because that's got a pretty big sea border and Japan will just land a bunch of troops. But Yakut SSR seems to be a pretty good defensive territory from Japan until they break through China, India, if they do. Which, oh yeah, I got complete control over the British and Americans in this one. So we'll have to do that. But that should be non-combat, then we just... Spam a bunch of Ruskies in Karelia and call it a turn. Call it a turn. All right, now Germany goes. Yeah, standard move. Oh, yeah, this is the North Sea. So hopefully I can knock out some German planes here. And I got the, uh... Wow, impressive. You completely missed... Oh boy, well, okay. Alright, we got one fighter. <laughs> the caucus is- oh shit. Ooh. Ouch, okay. Okay, Germany usually doesn't do that. <laughs> that's funny. The one, the one time I record myself playing this, I'm about to embarrass myself. That's nice. 
Okay. It is a luck-based game. You know, dice and shit. Oh, wow. Okay. Nice. Okay, Germany usually takes that. Guess not this time, and that destroys most of the African force. Alright, the UK. My computer is really loud. Like, really loud. That's really weird. Oh, the UK. I, I don't usually don't know. I don't play the UK too often. I, I primarily play the USSR like in every other World War II game. I think... Eventually, I want to get a factory in India, maybe, depending on what Japan does, but first... Yeah, I don't really want to pour stuff into the United Kingdom in terms of ships, because Germany is just gonna bomb it. Although they could... They might be able to bomb stuff over here in the Labrador Sea, but we'll have to see about that. Well, I guess we'll... What do we got? We got two infantry and one tank. And two fighters. So we can definitely... Yeah, Germany only, only has one transport, so we don't really have to put too much on the UK itself. So I think... I think we'll get a factory in Eastern Canada, because that's worth three. Which is pretty damn useful. And then our only, fac our only other factory is up in the UK, so... I guess we'll get five infantry. Yeah, we'll just stack up the UK for this turn, and then we'll start pumping stuff into Eastern Canada and the Labrador Sea just to keep it away from Germany. Oh, and we'll bomb Germany. Try and knock out their little fleet right there. I could, uh, that'd be a pretty equal battle. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's try and knock them out in the Mediterranean. And, yeah, let's try and take back all that. Oh, oh shit, they can come down into Persia from the Caucasus. Yeah, usually Germany doesn't go for the Caucasus right away like that. But I should be able to move a lot of equipment over there and knock them out. Take it back. Alright, that should be it for that turn. Yeah, we took that. Let's see how this goes. Okay, we got him. Good. And if we knock out this navy right here, at least the transport, if we knock out the transport, then that's pretty much Africa, completely ours. And we could probably put a factory in South Africa or Egypt. Ouch. Okay, wow. Nice job, guys. Good, okay. As long as he knocked out that transport, I'm fine. Don't get a hit. Good. Yeah, we got him. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Germany can't really afford to get a new battleship anytime soon. Okay, let's... Perfect. Perfect. Completely wiped out the German Navy. Okay. Uh, wow. Nice job. Bomber. All right, and the next turn we can just take Algeria and Libya, and that'll be Africa complete, completely ours. All right, non-combat. Uh, we'll move this guy to Persia so they don't try and blitz into India. Although Japan might take India by on their own. Uh, we'll move that guy up from South Africa, since Africa is pretty much secure right now, unless something wild happens. Oh, and we'll move these guys back. Okay. Now we'll... Factory, Eastern Canada. Five guys, UK. Now Japan. Japan is... They're always just wild. They just run wild throughout the entire world. Because everyone's focusing Germany. Ouch, okay. <laughs> there goes... Oh, Sink Yang. Oh, that's not good. Oh boy, they're... Uh, 
We're gonna put a lot of pressure on the Soviets this game. Wow, that's the entire... Oh, that bad? No, oh, well, that's pretty bad. Two battleships, they got four hits right there. Right, the United States. Um, one thing I always struggle with, with the United States, and I guess the UK to a little bit of a lesser extent, is building too many ships and not focusing enough on... Uh, I... What's the word? Infantry, land stuff, transports and stuff like that. Actually getting boots on the ground. Because it's just so much fun to build ships, I guess. I don't know. But we need to get a carrier out because... Now, this game, I think it would be a lot better if they added a destroyer. Which they do in Iron Blitz. Which is an expansion for this. But it'd be really nice if they had, like, a destroyer or something. Something... Something like a submarine, but that can hit aircraft in the base game. And that isn't as, like, so expensive as a frickin' battleship. But... Uh, we should definitely rebuild the Navy. Or try to, right now. Yeah, we, we start off with three... F two fighters. And we'll probably launch everything we can at these two Japanese battleships to try and... Hit them as hard as possible, because Japan... They don't have the kind of money I do, at least not yet. But they also have to focus a lot on, you know, Asia. In terms of land forces. And did they... Uh... Yeah, they put a factory in Southeast Asia. Uh, that's not good. India's probably gonna fall then. Definitely gonna fall. Which means we have to... Be quick about this and... Do some stuff. Yeah, I think we'll... We'll just throw everything at the these uh, Japanese battleships. Just so they're not a problem later. Because they're going to be focusing heavily on producing stuff over in Asia. Rather than... Rather than ground stuff, or naval stuff. Yeah, I think that's all for combat that we need to do right now. Yeah. Me okay, well, we got it all. And we'll sacri- Wow. Okay, yeah, it's- That was pretty damn good. Holy shit. Wow. Traded a transport for two battleships. Okay. Uh, well, I didn't expect that. Uh, oh my god, the mouse. Oh my god, it's so hard to use. There we go. Non-combat, we have to land one on Hawaii. You can get the other one back to the mainland and get that one back there. I could just throw away a transport, a transport to get some guys up here. But Germany doesn't have any transports left, so they can't do any landings over here. So I think I'll just hold this transport here. And that's another thing, you really have to balance Europe and Asia as the US. Well, that should be it. Yeah, that was a complete victory. And now we got a carrier and two fighters ready to go into the Pacific. The third one down here. Alright, that was... We lost Sin King, so we lost some IPCs. Yeah, we gotta fight back against the Germans here as the Russians. A little bit. Okay, we can get that tank to the Caucasus those four tanks, get the two fighters. Uh, we can completely abandon Finland, Norway. Because I don't have paratroopers enabled, and... Yeah, um... Let's go eight guys in here. Eight guys... Oh, oh, hold on. Yeah, eight guys... That should, yeah, that should take it back. Yeah, that should be good. And then when we put, when we put our 8 into Karelia, that'll bring us back up to 12. We'll bring this guy over, that'll bring us up to 13. We'll bring these fighters back. And then whatever remains in the Caucasus should be enough to handle three tanks. And Japan took the Far East. 
And we got seven guys right here. We're Yeah, if they start Oh shit. When they start pushing into Novospiersk, I think that's how it's said. And uh Kazakh SSR. We're gonna have to start like putting a couple guys in Russia every turn, which is gonna make things a lot more hectic over here. Wow. We're doing pretty good with the rolls this time around. Yeah, we lost two guys. That's pretty damn good. Yeah. <laughs> I was worried for a second there. Okay. Um, yeah, that's all combat, non-combat. Get those fighters back to Karelia. Get him back to Karelia. And place all eight guys into Karelia. And we're back to 24. Oh shit, they- oh, okay, they can hit Labrador Sea. Nice. Okay. Well, they're bound to fail eventually with that bomber. Oof, boy. I'm- <laughs> I'm really tempted to put a factory in South Africa, but I already built a frickin' factory. We could just- Spam out transports and hope when they attack that they hit hit the trans or that the transports hit them. And besides, we need to start getting like material and stuff around the world here. Although we can take all of Africa now, and we can get this guy into India from Persia because the Soviets took back the Caucasus. Yeah, whatever. We'll get three transports. If they decide to go wild on me and I lose them all, then, uh... Uh... Oops. <laughs> yeah, we can't do any bombing. And they have no... Yeah. They have no transports, so we can't... We don't have to worry about them doing a landing. On the UK. Okay. Right. Yep, we took all that. Two more IPCs. And all of Africa is under our control now. And that's it for combat. Non-combat, I think we'll... Yeah, we'll fly, so we'll fly our planes to Karelia just for some extra defense. Since we don't need them on the United Kingdom. We'll get this guy up to Egypt. This guy into India. And I guess we'll keep that guy in West Canada. It's worth one. I wanted to move him up to Alaska, but they do have a little... There's a little bit of a uh, border right here on those two sea zones. Ah, we'll move him there, because the U.S. is right here. And we got a tank in Eastern Canada, so we can... If the Japanese land here, we can clean it up. Looks like about it. Uh, Japan is... Uh, looks like they're about to take India. So I guess it's good I didn't put a factory there. Okay. Two guys in the UK. Three transports. Yep, they're pushing into Russia. Wow, we're not doing too good. No, boy. No, no one's doing good against the Japanese except for that battle where I knocked out their battleships. Okay, uh, I got a battleship, a carrier. That's a pretty good navy already. They built a carrier. They have a lot of planes. Japan always has a lot of planes. I think we'll, we'll try and clean up all these islands in the south. Try and get, try and, um, uh, Isolate them on just the mainland of Asia and Japan itself. Get them out of the Pacific, pretty much. And we'll just avoid all these worthless islands that are worth nothing. So I think we'll... Yeah. Two transports, a bunch of infantry. We can load those planes onto the carrier. And I don't think we need to do any- we, I don't think we can do any combat. 
We can get a battleship to Japan, but... I mean, if I, if I crush them, that would be serious. That's like... That, that's 16 IPCs plus 18, whatever that is. But I think I'll save all the navy for later. Okay. Combat, don't need to do any combat. Non-combat, we'll get our bomber to the UK so we can start bombing Germany. Try and do anything we can against that. I guess we'll just consolidate our navy right here. Because we're going to place our transports there this turn. Well, we could... We could try... Sail around here, place the guys in Persia, get them down to India, but Japan might react if we get too close. But we definitely need to start getting stuff around the world here. Okay. Two transports, bunch of infantry. 32 IPCs, even worse than last turn. And we're at the same exact amount this time. Yeah, now we're gonna have to start placing guys in Russia itself to <clears throat> combat the Japanese. They usually don't go, don't go too hard, though, against all this stuff. And I think we can... Oh boy, 13 infantry right there in, the, in Eastern Europe. Oh boy. Yeah, I should have I should have left some infantry in Russia because now I have to use a tank to go take that guy and if I lose a tank to infantry like that, that is not good. Well, I guess we have a bunch of fighters. So I guess we'll send one tank over there. And we'll send the rest into the Ukraine. And we're, we got eight guys again. Six infantry, three tanks. Bring that up to... Yeah, that should, that should be enough to take Ukraine. Okay, uh, hopefully... Oh, God. Okay. You gotta get it. Oh, my God. Well... Yep, that's, uh... That's what happened, okay. Nice. Nice, knocked out some, uh, a fighter. Two fighters, I think. So that's definitely some serious... Yeah, they, they got a bomber and a fighter left, the Germans. Well, that, uh... Kinda worked, kinda, kinda didn't. But we got the Ukraine, which is three. IPCs. Yeah, that should be it. Yeah, we'll have to start placing two guys in Russia itself now. In Germany, they can they can get a fighter and 13 guys in there, but the British have two fighters, so. And I got an AA gun, so. Should be able to hold in Karelia, even if they attack, which they might not. We'll see. Central Atlant. What the? You. Okay, well. Just lost. Uh... Okay. Freaking Germans, dude. Yeah, we need to do something with that bomber, man. We'll get a battleship out here, so if they attack, they're gonna freaking die. And... Yeah, that was pretty bad. Wow, I didn't expect that. I'm a dumbass. Oh, hold on. Whoa, my mouse went off the screen. Good thing I didn't click. What? Oh, I'm not- I'm the UK right now. Gonna go bomb Germany. Yeah, Japan is definitely thinking about taking India.
Well, screw it. Let's let's try and get in here. But actually, that'd be a non-combat move. Yeah, we're gonna get we're gonna get a whole bunch of guys up it into Karelia. Because Germany, it does look like they're building up a little bit too much. And it'll, it'll definitely take some pressure off of Russia. If I move a whole bunch of British troops up there. And besides, they keep bombing my frickin' transports, so it's like, whatever. But I don't think I can do any combat. So yeah, we'll just get a whole bunch of stuff all the way up here. Transports in there. Uh, should I get... Russia's got enough infantry right there. Them, and then get the other tank in there. Have them move on. And the, the UK could also start cleaning up stuff in uh, Asia, too, for the Russians. And have Russia just focus entirely on the Germans. Start moving. Start moving towards India with those guys to, you know, try and stop the Japanese, but I don't know how much that's gonna help. Okay. okay. Oh, they're. Well, my battleship can take two hits, so. If that bomber tries to go at it, I, I just wanna get rid of that bomber, because Germany can't afford to replace that bomber. At least, if they do, they'll definitely lack some infantry and stuff. Okay. Let's see what Japan's got. Oh, shh. Okay, wow. Yep. That's not looking good. They wiped out the entire force in, like, one... Well, they <laughs> Oh, boy. That's pretty bad. Okay, yeah. America's got to get moving here against the Japanese. Okay, bomb the shit out of Germany. Oh, we could hit those two transports, that'd be nice. But let's, uh... I mean, with four infantry, there's not much we're be really able to do. You gotta get a bigger transport fleet out first. So I guess we'll... Oh, this is combat. Well, whatever. Ah, uh, unload all this. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. This is really weird. There we go. So I guess our first target will be New Guinea. Borneo, Celebes. Celebes? Whatever. And then the East Indies. And the Philippines. And Okinawa. And then by then, something might have happened in our favor. But until then, we'll just bomb the shit out of Germany. Or try to. Okay, three IPCs gone. That was better than the British attempt. Right, yeah, load. Load that up with some infantry. And get moving. Yeah, we've lost our guys over here that were gonna go try and help India, because... Yeah, that was... A little weird. All right. So yeah, I guess the U.S. is just gonna focus on Japan right now. I mean, Germany is kind of a little iffy right now. They're still pretty powerful, but we got them contained to just Europe right now. They don't have a bunch of transports and guys in Africa. And if they start trying to build those, it's not gonna go well for them. Let's try and take back this. Oh, they got three infantry right there. Jeez. 
And what is that? That's 22 infantry and three tanks. Yeah, that's not that's not good enough odds for me. Right, that's it. Hopefully, yeah. Thank you. Nice. Didn't lose one thing. Although they can they can try and blitz to Russia next turn. So I'm gonna move my fighters back. They can get they can get one fighter, one bomber, one tank to Russia. Right, uh, next turn. So I think I'll, I'll pull some British. Yeah, I'll, um, when it's Britain's turn, I'll pull all this stuff to Russia. Just to make sure that holds. And then I'll probably move these Russian fighters back to Karelia so that Russia can do a... When they do an attack on Eastern Europe, they'll have their all their forces. Which will definitely make things harder, you know, retaking stuff over here, but the British can do that. So that's not too crazy. Okay. Non-combat, move them back. And that should be it. I still want to put a guy here, though, just in case. Nah, we'll put everything right here, because the British, two infantry, two tanks, four fighters, definitely will be able to hold Russia, as of, for right now at least. Okay, 25 IPCs, yeah, we're starting to get down there. Oh, hit something, yes, transport's nice. Okay, that's fine. Oh my god, there we go, finally, okay, now the seas are ours completely. Oh, Germany built a fighter. Nice, okay, we'll get transport. And a whole bunch of equipment. And we'll uh, merge everything into the North Sea. And combat move. I don't think I can do any combat as the British. Yeah, I don't think any combat can be done. Alright. Get that tank to India, those guys. All that to Russia. Yeah, we're, it's better, we're better off just, like, ferrying things into Russia at this point. And we'll get the battleship all the way up there. So if they try any shit with that fighter again, it'll definitely be harder for them. So the Japanese haven't tried to touch Australia. India's uh, definitely in danger of falling, I think. I think I might want to put a factory in Egypt pretty soon here just so it can just so the Japanese don't like just blow through all of the Middle East and Africa because I don't have anything there the Americans could start shipping stuff into Africa but if the British have a factory in Egypt that'll definitely make things a little easier and the uh, the Japanese yeah, they can land on Egypt, so I'll definitely need to get some troops there first before I put the factory down. I could put it in South Africa, but that's pretty far away. But I guess we'll just flood troops into Russia as the UK. And until Germany builds a transport, we don't have anything to worry about. Okay, and... Oh boy, well, the transport is probably going to get nuked, but whatever. Place everything in the UK. 32 IPCs still. Oh, wow! <laughs> yep, <laughs> that's exactly what I thought was going to happen, and they're just completely invading Russia. Oh my god, yeah, wow. Hey, they, wow, they, <laughs> they just traded 12 IPCs for uh, two a turn. That's gonna take six turn six turns to pay off, guys. All right, another pair of transports. Now let's just go about the go for a bunch of infantry, and now.
start taking all of Japan's islands. That'll take away... That's a good amount of IPCs. Two, four, seven, eight IPCs in total. Which, I mean, they... Yeah. Definitely gotta start taking stuff from Japan here. I would, I would try and go up here, but Japan, they just have so much stuff. And I could... Uh, take the Sea of Japan to cut them off from Asia, but they got a lot of planes, so that's pretty dangerous. Although Japan is getting pretty big, so, you know, I might need to take a risk pretty soon here. And they, they took frickin' Egypt. Yeah, America, yeah, we gotta start pouring troops into Africa. Uh, we'll take New Guinea, hopefully. Yeah, perfect. Battleship did its work. Nice. Yeah, it's comp. Oh, I forgot to send the bomber to bomb Germany. I'm gonna forget that a lot on combat. Get the carrier there and the planes. I guess we'll get these to head all the way south here. And then... Well, Japan's got nothing on any of these islands, so we can just take a whole bunch right away. And just, like, let the transports die off. Although we could do a pretty big attack on French Indochina and take that factory from them. That would definitely cripple them. Although they, do, they have a lot of troops nearby, so they'll probably be able to take it back. Okay. Yeah, we need to... Uh... Need troops to get into Africa at this point. Because Japan is running a little bit wild. Yeah, 25, at least we can still get 8 guys a turn. <laughs> We're we're down pretty bad here as the Russians. Yeah, the British are gonna have to start taking the stuff back. But we're able to just ferry troops into Karelia pretty constantly. And we can, the fighters can get to Eastern Europe and back in one turn. Now we're gonna have to keep a guy in Persia, because Japan is just gonna go to Persia, Caucasus. Although they're probably gonna try and link up there and do that exact thing, so... We definitely gotta get on top of this. Not yet, not yet. Not yet. Twenty-nine. We got thirty-nine in total with how was that? Th yeah, three tanks and two fighters. Oh boy, nineteen. That's not good. Oh, they're going into Ukraine. Okay. That's not good either. I just knocked out all my tanks. Well, 16 infantry versus 29. Oh boy, this is getting a little tight here. Uh, yeah, we need transports. We need, we need to get shit over here. Man, we could, the uh, the UK and Japan can fight an entire proxy war over all this Russian territory, and the Russians won't see any of it. It can reinforce all this. Well, I guess the most expensive Japanese thing is that tank. So I guess we'll try and take back that. And all these are worth two, so it's not doesn't really matter which one I take. Well, I guess next turn, Russia will go into Eastern Europe. I'll get a whole bunch more UK infantry into Karelia to help 
buff the defense. We'll have to see. Oof. Yeah, not, not placing that factory in Egypt. Well, yeah, other than, yeah, that's the only combat I really want to do. I mean, J Japan might take it back and Russia won't see any of the money ever, but if we can just knock out as much J Japanese material, that'll help too. Well, yeah, that's about that. Okay, and... Now time to start... Shipping stuff over here. Oh, let's move. And yeah, move all these guys. They could blitz into Russia, but... Yeah, they don't have any other stuff, so I guess we'll just throw everything into Russia for now. And, whoa. Okay, we got two transports. One with two infantry, one with a tank. There we go. Oh wow, Germany just keeps building fighters. What the hell? They got back up to four now. Although, I don't think their fighters will be able to reach as far. Yeah, they... they... Definitely can't reach all the way up there. Okay. And this is like a little more crazy than usual. Or maybe I'm just rusty at the game. Keep them in the Labrador Sea, and five in infantry in the UK. Oh boy, oh, they're already, oh Jesus, they're down all the way in South Africa. Whoa, they're going after Russia. Yeah, get, get out, get out. Oh shit, they're going for Alaska. Oh, come on. Good job. Come on, Americans, you can do it. Come on. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. No. One, two, three. I can get a fighter all the way up there to deal with those two transports. I think I'll... Uh, should I get another carrier? Just so I have this covered? Another... Yeah, I could buy all that, have another carrier up here with two planes. To just like blow the hell out of anything they got. Yeah, I think I'll I'll do that. Cause I I got a pretty good transport fleet right now. Oh, they got a carrier right there. I could strike that. That's, oh, and they can't. Yeah, they can't do anything about that. Okay. Yeah, we'll get that. Get that uh, carrier out of here. Yeah, I don't think they don't have any planes to actually strike that. And they They have like two planes left? Three planes left. Three fighters. I think they like expended a lot on that battle. Like I crushed them pretty hard, I think. And we'll take Take all this stuff. That's three IPCs. We'll knock out that carrier. We'll get a carrier with... Oh, yeah, we'll try and... What? Oh, that they just took the Alaska. God damn it. Yeah, we're gonna start pouring troops into French West Africa. Yeah, that's not good. It's only one infantry, but still... Japan is accumulating too much. Alright, that should be it. Oh, nope. Ha, ah, I almost forgot. 
again. There we go. Got to bomb Germany. Always bomb Germany. Yeah, it took Borneo, East Indies. Sink that carrier. Okay, we'll take the hit on the battleship. Because Japan really doesn't have much left. In terms of, see, they got two transport, three transports. One down here, two by Japan. Oh, okay, only three, not good, but better than nothing, I guess. That's one fewer infantry unit Russia's got to worry about, I guess. Yeah, start getting guys into Africa. We'll get these transports. Right there. Ready to strike. Oh, I'm, I only filled one guy on here. Oh my god, whatever. We'll get those ready to strike the Philippines. We'll probably send this transport to take Okinawa. And then that's all the... Uh... Oh, I could have sent those two tanks up there, but... Uh, we'll send up two tanks. Three tanks right there. Two infantry, keep those four down there. Uh, get this fighter back to Western United States. Just in case they try anything tricky. And we'll take back Alaska. Take the rest of the islands that are worth anything. And they're, they're massing in French Indochina. Which I don't like. But we got pretty much complete control over the, the sea. Other than... Oh! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, God. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay, well, whatever. What the f... Okay, the... The, the plane landing combat... Or after combat is kind of weird in this game a little bit. Oh, uh, I might lose one here. Yeah, it fucking died. What? Warning up. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, we just lost two fighters. Because I guess... Okay. That's interesting. That's interesting. Uh... Okay, whatever. Uh, that's a little annoying. 20 IPCs. Yeah, time to go in. Everything we got. Didn't expect them to go into Ukraine like that, but that definitely weakened them in Eastern Europe. Although Japan is looking pretty weak over there. Oof. Oh boy. Well, that's not too bad. Ouch. That was not good. There we go. We got him. There we go. 17 left. Not bad. Not crazy good, but... They have eight guys in total they can get in there. A tank and four fighters, which is actually a little nasty, but if the UK keeps uh, throwing stuff into Karelia, it won't really matter how much I lose, because we'll just hold Karelia still. Okay. Not combat. Only six guys in Karelia this time. That's really bad. We can get seven infantry next turn. Oh, down to 25 IPCs. Germany's starting to not do anything now. That's good. Uh, yeah, we'll just keep keep up the infantry. Keep up the support of Russia. And everything will be fine. Okay, I think we'll... Send everything... From Russia into there. Get those tanks in there. We'll get four infantry into Russia. 
And they'll only be able to attack with one fighter, so they won't be able to take anything. Uh, Germany can blitz with one tank, but I'll have my two fighters back in there. And four infantry, so if we lose against that, then I guess we're just gonna lose overall. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's do it Gone two fighters off the map nice 24 IPCs lost There we go And combat I didn't do anything else Those fighters back to Russia those four infantry into Russia And we'll just Keep pouring shit into Russia. Or I guess Karelia more specifically. Okay, uh, move those. Oh. Is that it? Yeah. Unload. Uh, we got. Th oh, three transports. Okay, we'll get another pair of infantry. Two tanks. Get them up to Karelia. There we go. Yeah, we're starting to get a lot of stuff into Karelia now. There's more British than Russians in Karelia at this point. And we'll, yeah, we'll get just to hold those three IPCs or try to. I mean, Germany didn't even try and take him. But we'll move a guy there, because Japan can't go into Persia at all. Yet. Okay. There we go, and a whole bunch of guys. Oh, down to 28, my god. Oh, we did lose a lot of stuff. Oh, here we go, now they're attacking India. That's not good. Do some damage, UK, I guess. Oh, shit! <laughs> okay! Wow! Okay, the Unite- Oh, my God. We might be able to take French Indochina, then. Take that fact- Oh, but they got five infantry right there, though. And I lost my frickin' planes. That was... That was annoying. Okay. We'll rebuy those planes, I guess. That was annoying. But whatever. Oh, yeah, we'll take back Alaska. And send these guys. We'll just take the Philippines with one unit. And we can reach. Ah, oh, let's go for it. Let's go for it. I definitely should have moved my carrier here and left the fighters in this region, move the carrier, instead of doing whatever the hell I did, trying to move the fighters back, but yeah, once once you get in that screen where it's telling you you got fighters to move, it, uh, it doesn't let you do anything. It's kind of <laughs> pretty brutal. Well, we could hit... Uh, yeah, let's hit South Africa with all these guys. Try and get the UK back some of their money. Then we can do exactly what Japan did. Transport him here, take back Egypt. Then transport guys into Persia, move into India. Or we could just go straight into India, because we knocked out all this stuff. And bomb Germany again. I guess we'll move the carrier there just because it's a three defense, I guess. All right. Uh, yes, I'd like to bombard. We took the Philippines. That's three IPCs. French Indochina. Battleship missed. Goddamn. Okay, one at a time, I guess. Okay. Oh, wow. Not bad. Not bad. There we go, and if we hold that, 
if we hold that next turn, we're gonna have a factory as the United States right there. So we can just pump out whatever the hell we want. And Japan won't be able to do a whole lot. Let's take back Alaska. Nice. Yeah, we, we, we turned it around. I was getting a little, uh, a little iffy there for a few turns. You know, because Japan was just going wild, but... And Russia, Russia was about to collapse, and if, if the Axis take Russia, then it's... It's, it's over, or it's just gonna, the game is gonna be so long that it's, like, not worth... I've been going for an hour right now, and... Oh yeah, South Africa. Nice, took it. Good. Didn't lose anybody. Okay. Done with that non-combat move. Uh, can't move that transport. We'll move the fighters onto that carrier. And the f bomber back there, and... <laughs> Replace those two fighters we lost, and... Get some stuff to ship over to wherever it needs to be shipped on the European theater, and... More stuff in the Pacific theater. 42 IPCs. Starting to pull ahead a little bit. Seven infantry. Um. Oh boy. I want Russia to have Ukraine. And Germany starts with it. So if the UK takes it, then uh, it won't go to Russia. So... And the, besides, the borders would look really weird. Like, all this would be, you know, the tan color of the UK. Well, the UK could... Ah, uh, sheesh. The UK could flood stuff into Eastern Europe while Russia takes care of Ukraine. Although Germany goes right before UK, so... Yikes. Oof, and if Germany attacks Eastern Europe with all their forces... Okay, let's... Let's, uh... Let's let them take Eastern Europe back, and we'll move everything into Ukraine. It, well, actually, we'll just move all these 17 troops into Ukraine. With these two fighters, we'll let them take back Eastern Europe. Because if they attack with Ukraine, Germany, and Southern Europe all into Eastern Europe... I might lose that entire army, and then that might be a complete loss for Russia. I mean, the UK's got a lot of stuff, but not that much. So I think we'll we'll give Germany back a little bit of ground, and we'll it, Ukraine is three IPCs, so we'll pretty much just trade, and then we'll take back Eastern Europe eventually, or try to. <laughs> bye bye. And we could try- we could- No, no, by the time Russia- I was- I wanted to put a factory in like the Caucasus or something, but By the time Russia can afford to build a factory Instead of infantry, the game's already won, so not much of a point in that Okay, non-combat, get those fighters back uh, we built seven infantry, and Germany can't even hit Kurila, so we'll put everything to Ukraine right now. Because they're going to take back Eastern Europe pretty soon. Or immediately after. And we're done with that. Seven infantry, new Kurilia. 26. Nice. Yeah, they took back... Oh, nice. Oh, nine. Well, that's not much. Okay, uh... 28. I guess we'll just, yeah, I, I want to put a factory in, like, Africa or something so we can try and help out India, but... I mean, well, India's pretty much saved, unless Japan takes back French Indochina, but... Having two factories right next to each other like that wouldn't be much, and... South Africa, that's just not very good. 
And besides, Russia is still... It's still a little sketchy over there. Uh, combat. Let's knock out that last... Oh, that's a German fighter. Well, I guess we'll take out that and take back Kazakh SSR. We'll probably try and move into Sinking and Yakut SSR. Oh, we can do that right now. Yeah. Japan's got two guys guarding the border. Then we can storm the Far East and Manchuria. Oh yeah, Japan is crippled. Japan's crippled. They can get four infantry over a turn now. Okay. Boom. Oh. There we go. Nice. Building Russia back up. <laughs> Germany just lost another 12 IPCs. There we go. Soviet Union is starting to look like the Soviet Union a little bit now. Okay, that was pretty damn good. I don't think we need the fighters in uh, Russia anymore. They're very helpful for attacking. I think we'll, yeah, we'll keep them in Russia still. When we take back uh, Sink Gang, then I think we'll keep them down in India. But if America can get hold this factory for long enough to start producing units. Oh, no, we can move these to sell. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. If we hold that factory, Japan will just die out. Because the Americans control the sea, and they have a factory down here now. So all we have to do is hold French Indochina. Nice, okay. Uh, Non-combat will move everything into Ukraine. And we'll load this shit up. Oh boy, this is gonna take a while. And at the very end, when Japan just hunkers down on Japan itself, that's gonna be a nightmare. There we go. Okay, non combat move. Yeah, that's about everything. Nice! Alright. 30 IPC is Japan's turn. Let's see what they got. Oh, well, they built a transport, I think. But it doesn't matter. No, they. Oh, they. Oh, wow, they built three fighters. They didn't attack French Indochina, so now we just pour stuff into French Indochina. Okay. Good job, Japan. So, pretty much three infantry every turn are going to French Indochina, and later we can do armor or whatever the hell else we need. And I think we'll just... We'll start merging our navy together and just place it right in Japan so they can't get a navy out anymore. They'll throw a bunch of fighters at us, but... That's what the carriers and fighters are for. And we're gonna need a lot of transports. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot of transports to knock out Japan, because they're just gonna sit on, uh, Japan and, uh, just sit there. So we'll... Oh, shit. No. Oh, my God. There you go. We'll just take Okinawa. Yeah, we'll use Hawaii as a staging ground, because that's two spaces away from Japan. And we it'll take a little bit to get back, but that's fine. Oh, almost forgot again. And yeah, Japan has a transport right there. So what can I do here? Oh yeah, we can go take Egypt back. What? Oh, 
Hey, what the f- Oh, okay. Well. Oh, yeah, yeah, Japan, okay. We'll get there eventually. That's pretty damn good. Yeah, dude, the fact- the fact that we held India was pretty damn good. And that battle in Russia, when Japan tried to take it, that was pretty brutal for them. I- that happened really fast. I think we got- we just destroyed them so bad that we destroyed them in one volley, so... That was pretty good. Okay, um... Yeah, we took Okinawa. And now we gotta go bomb Germany. Okay. Germany's gonna... Bomb us in the air, I guess. I don't know. Non-combat. Alright. Now it's time to start... Now it's time to head back for Hawaii. Get those... Planes onto Hawaii. Get the carrier. Those planes. And there we go. And we'll, now we gotta just start building up for the invasion of Japan. USSR. 28. Not yet. We're starting to pull ahead now. And what do they got? They got... Let's go into Eastern Europe. We definitely have a, a pretty good British backbone at this point. Where's my mouse? Oh, there it is. That'd be a shame to click off the... The frickin'... Actually, can I save? Yeah, I can save. Uh... Can I name it something? Uh... Allies. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that'd be a shame to click off the crash the game an hour and ten minutes in pretty much. Okay. Oof, that was a little nasty. And eh, we took it though. And we still got a pretty good force left. 22 infantry. Yep, there we go. And now we just build up in Eastern Europe until until we overpower Germany. And now the UK can start uh, doing stuff in Western Europe. Wow, all right. Yeah, we, we've pretty much done good. Getting on combat. Move those guys back. And, yeah, we'll just build everything. Put everything into Karelia. And let Japan, let the UK handle all this stuff. And pretty soon it's just gonna be Japan over here. And Germany's three little territories. And Russia's got 30 IPCs. Yep, Germany's stopped doing anything now. Okay. UK. I think we'll, we'll build a bomber. Yeah, we'll build a bomber so we can start bombing Germany. Just make things a little easier. And I think now Russia can sustain itself. I'm a dumbass, I forgot to put those three infantry in French Indochina. You gotta be kidding. Okay. That's nice. Oh my god. Ooh, 24 German infantry there. Okay, that's not good. But we're gonna pull all our British guys in. Oh, we can use the Baltic now to get to Eastern Europe. Okay. Okay, anyway. Uh, we got. Well, let's take back Xinjiang for the United States. Put all that into there. We'll just hold it Yakut SSR. Move the tank. Nice, yeah. Japan is collapsed in Asia. They don't got- they can't get anything there, and they don't have much left in there, so... Yeah, we just take back <laughs> Egypt eventually. And then we just beat them down, which is gonna take a while. 
I, I probably might cut that out because all the major stuff is passed. Because now they're just going to build up on Japan itself and Germany itself until I slowly overpower them. So I'll probably cut that out since I've been going for a while as it is. Okay. And not much is really going to happen. It's just going to be, be me building up, building up. Until I finally have more. Yeah, there we go. Got that back for the United States. Non-combat. Yeah, pour everything into Eastern Europe. Get those fighters back to French Indochina, and Japan is not going to be able to take that back now. If they had assaulted as soon as I took it, they might have been able to, but now it's too late. Oh, that's right, we can load... Yeah, we can load everything on to Eastern Europe directly now. Yeah, I, I never... I never really do this uh, specific type strategy with the UK of just... Just throwing things into Russia. But it seemed to have worked pretty good. And I was a little... In the, in the, you know, beginning there, I was a little nervous for a few minutes. Okay. Bomber, five infantry. Philippines. Come on, transport. Oh, okay. That's expected. 20 IPCs. Yeah, our- oh yeah, let's not- let's not forget to get our three guys in Indochina this time. But now... All the United States has got to do is take Japan. And, uh... Yeah, I'll keep those guys in Indochina. Oh yeah, uh, take back Egypt. There we go. That'll be two more points for the UK. And that should be it for combat. Non-combat, get everything to Hawaii. Load up as much as we can with our current transport fleet. And next turn, I think we'll just. Oh, we'll move those fighters onto the. Uh, into the ocean, or onto the carrier. And they have, they have 26. They have five fighters in total there. That's gonna be a pretty bloody. I guess we'll keep the loaded transports back, and we'll just mass them up here. And we'll take some empty transports over here just to take some hits. In case they throw some fighters at me. Okay. Now, this time, let's not forget. There we go. Three right there. And the rest in Western United States. 45 IPCs. USSR is up to 31. I think their income is 30 a turn, but... Had one left over. Okay. And, ooh, we can act this turn, actually. Because the UK has got so much in Eastern Europe itself. Yeah, let's go into Southern Europe. Let's try it out. Let's try it. We got double their infantry. Oh, yikes, okay. Okay, equal hits so far. I think, yeah, we, I think we got it. Night, we got it. There we go. Uh, Germany might try and take that back. 
But if they if they pull stuff out of Western Europe, we'll just flood in. And then flood into Germany itself. And we'll just continue to feed guys in. Alright, so Germany... We'll see what Germany does next turn. If they just stay there. North Sea. What the f... Yeah, get out of here. Oh, I left the battleship there. That was almost bad. Oh, man. Yeah, Germany just sat there, so... Yeah, now we'll go into Western Europe with all our five transports. And then it'll just be Germany. And then that'll be the war in Europe done. So, uh... I guess we'll build a factory in Egypt just so we're somewhat close to the Pacific because we're going to need help over there with just the sheer amount of transports for invading Japan. And another bomb or two for bombing Japan and Germany. Okay, so we can get six infantry and two tanks. So we'll take one tank from uh, Eastern Europe, get the rest in there, get that tank in there, get all those guys in there, we'll have the battleship to bombard. Germany might try and take Western Europe back, because, yeah, they got 20 guys in Germany, which is a good amount. But, you know, if they try and pull stuff out, Russia can just gun it for Germany with uh, from Southern and Eastern Europe. And Germany is the capital. So if, if I leave everything from Southern Europe, it doesn't matter. They can't build anything else. We just need to take and hold Germany. Okay. Combat move. Take back China for the United States as well. Yes, bombard there. Let's bomb Germany. Four IPCs gone, nice. Good. That was a bit, that was not a very good hit by the main force, but we got him. Okay, that was actually pretty good. We turned it around there. There we go, Western Europe fell. And there goes China. And the US can just march up the coast. Yep, it's over. Combat. Not combat. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, my genius. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, nice. We can just go all the way around. Nice. Okay. Get them back to French Indochina. And that should be it. Yeah. Wow. Totally kicked the shit out of the Axis. Yep, there now the Axis is just sitting there. And we're gonna need a lot of infantry, a lot of transports. And now oh they yeah. Let's uh get in here. Oh no, hold on, hold on. We can't bring the carriers. Uh, where are my transports? The empty ones. Yeah, move the empty ones in there just to take hits. And we'll start massing loaded transports up in, what is that, Central Pacific. And we'll start moving up the Chinese coast. America will probably just take all of China. At this point, I'm just taking things for border stuff. Actually, I think I want the Soviets to have Manchuria. Although it looked better. Whatever. I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Japan just is pumping out fighters now. That's not good. Um. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Bye bye. There we go. Nice. 
Yeah, the U.S. is getting a lot of power now. Yeah, all right, that's it for that. Uh, Non-combat, get those carriers over there so they don't burn. Uh, get these tanks down there. Japan, if... I mean, Japan could try and take, an Ala take Alaska, but I could just throw my tanks all the way back up there. And then... Yeah, they'd have to take them from the Soviet Far East to Alaska, so then the UK could just walk in. Okay. There you go. Um... Oh, uh, three guys always in there. And, oh, whoops. And all that there. 50 IPCs. Yep. U USSR is starting to pull ahead. So in total, we have... Uh, 40... No, 22 infantry. Yeah, we're going to need more than that. But we should be able, able to overwhelm Germany pretty quick here. And yeah, no combat needs to be done. Just move. Oh, oh, I can place six guys into Southern Europe. Holy moly. Yeah, then we'll definitely be able to over overwhelm them quick. And the rest will just go into Russia and just head east to clean up help clean up the Japanese oh yeah we can we can probably overwhelm Germany next turn all right 36 IPCs 10 IPCs yeah now it's just Germany okay the UK yeah we got a factory in Egypt which can only get two things out a turn so we'll start getting some transports out there just to go make things in Japan go a little faster, or hopefully a little faster. Um, I guess the UK, uh, yeah, for the UK, we'll just go for bombers. We'll primarily go for bombers and stuff. Because we want, yeah, the... Russia and the United States will be, um, actually, we could suicide, we could suicide into Germany, yeah, because Germany's turn, okay, yeah, it's over, yeah, nice, we'll just, uh, throw everything into Germany, and it, the UK might even take Germany. But if they don't, then the USSR can just drive in next turn. And the UK doesn't really have anything elsewhere. Oh, except over here. Alright, yes, I want to bombard. Both of them on ground support. Okay, we might actually- I think we'll actually win this. That was actually kind of nasty, though. Yeah, we were gonna win this. Didn't actually expect that to happen. <laughs> yep, there we go. There goes Germany. There we go, that's one Axis member gone. Now it's just Japan. Which is just gonna take an ungodly amount of transports to knock out. Uh, combat, non-combat move, move those back there. And that's pretty much all that can be done. Uh, we'll get those bombers in Egypt just to make it... Make it a little faster when the, making them get to Japan. Alright, what do you got for me? Japan, yep, yeah, just sitting there. All right, now we just build as much as we possibly can. Combat move. Three fighters. All 
Now we'll try and take Manchuria. Yeah, it's it's everything, man. Yep, there they go. Damn. Pretty damn easy. Get all those fighters back into the Sea of Japan. And now I think is... Yeah, this is the part where I'll cut it. I'll I'll pretty much just will down Japan until there's nothing left. We'll take back the Soviet Far East and then it's just Japan. So yeah, I guess to see you in however long that'll take. Okay, I think we're ready to go in. I just finished uh, throwing waves of bombers at the Japanese, which didn't kill much. I killed four in total. They were at 26, and I think they just bought two infantry, because that's all they could buy. But, we I think we're just about ready. I mean, I got a lot of stuff. <laughs> I got a lot of stuff. Oh, jeez, this is... Oh, boy. Okay, well, I'll be back in a little bit when I'm done moving all this. All right. So, yeah, um, overall the game was, uh, a little more tense than I thought it would be. I, I kind of thought I was gonna do, uh, roll over them a little bit faster than I did, but, uh, as usual, Russia is the key to the game. You know, if the Axis take Russia, they win. If the Allies hold Russia, they win. So it's... It's all about how long Russia survives. Get those four fighters in there. Okay, let's... Let's, let's, let's do it. Oh, wow, man, they are just, like, lighting up my planes with those anti-aircraft guns, man. Holy shit. Ouch. Come on, we can do it, we can do it. Come on, America. Come on, America. Ouch. Shit. Come- oh, America, come on. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh. Oh, man. Well, we'll be able to transport all this stuff from China over next turn. Oh shit, they'll they'll be able to Oh no, I got 23 transports there. <laughs> Never mind. All right. Well, I guess that wasn't the end. But I guess I'll just keep all this in just cuz um we'll continue doing I guess just bombing raids, strategic bombing raids. So Japan stays at low as low as possible. That's still two more infantry they can get out, but them back, fly two more bombers over, alright, yeah this is what I've been doing for the past however long, like 10 minutes or so, <laughs> just building up. And strategically, yeah, there we go. Bombing Japan out of existence. So that the, uh, the Americans can have a little bit of an easier time. Getting on the island. Yeah, Jap- oh, whoa! Oh, dude. Yeah, nice. We won. We just won right there. They can't rebuild anything. Wow, Japan really screwed themselves over that time. Jesus. Why would they- why would they do that? Okay. Whatever. 
Uh, there's not much of a point in buying anything at all. Okay, four infantry, can they take it? Oh, well, it doesn't matter, because we can get six there right next turn. Let's, uh... Unload four infantry. We have a battleship in support. Let's see what we can do. Nice. 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 Come on. Come on. Oh my god. America, you're choking. America's cho- Oh my god, they choked so hard. They choked. They choked so bad. Lost to one guy. God damn. Alright, well. Next turn! Holy shit, that was close. I and mean, we can just bomb them now. Bomb that last guy. It's gonna be expensive, but, uh... The oh my- Why did I- I totally- I <laughs> Oh, nothing matters anymore. Just place all this shit, let me get to the next guy. Alright. Uh, nothing matters. There we go. We use all these six bombers. There we go. Knocked out that one guy. And now America should just be able to walk in. Oh, I, for I didn't put anybody. God damn. Oh, we can get a guy from Okinawa. Okay. Uh, get all that back to Manchuria. Place all that. Japan is gonna... Oh, wait. Oh, fuck me. I forgot to strategically bomb them. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm making this... Oh, I'm a dumbass. We can go pick up those guys right there. Yeah. Okay, uh, unload you right there. There we go, all that. All that on to Japan! Let's end this. There we go, we got it. Oh no, not yet. There we go. Hey, alright! And I think the end cutscene is kind of fucked. Alright. Yeah, the end cutscene is screwed up pretty bad. This game is just too damn old. Oh! Well, never mind then. Triumph accomplished! There we go, hour 44. Oh, look at that. Woo! Kills. Who got Germany? Japan got the most kills and took the highest losses. Wow. Alright, there we go. Let's end this. I've been going for a while. Uh, four hours. No, over. Um. Jesus, seven hours of Axis and Allies today. Holy Christ. Two hours of the 98 version and uh, five hours of the 2004 version. At least I finished this one. At least I won in this one. All right, let's uh, end this. So if you made it all the way here through this entire campaign, thank you for watching. If you watch any of my other stuff, thank you for watching that as well. And I will see you in whatever I do next time, and eventually, when I complete the sixth mission for the Allied campaign in the 2004 Axis, Axis and Allies. Which, I don't know how long that's gonna take, I already beat it once, but I just couldn't do it again. But anyway, I'll see you in whatever I do next time, and thank you for watching.